examine yourself. Have you been born again? Have you come into a saving relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ? If not, you are in great danger. No matter how comfortable or great you feel physically, you're at enmity with God. Your foot will slip in due time. God is going to require your soul and bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether it be good or evil, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, which will be reconciled to God. Jesus is the only way to God for the forgiveness of your sins, to be in the love of God, an everlasting covenant with God. The just shall live by faith. Christ suffered once for sins forever, and then sat down at the right hand of God. Believe on the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt be saved. Repent of your law, likewise perish. You don't know the day nor the hour. God's going to require your life. Are you living in Christ? Do you know for certain that God has given you his life? If not, you're under the wrath of God. You will die in your sins. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Humble yourselves for pride comes before destruction, ladies and gentlemen. Pride comes before destruction. That is a personal destruction in hellfire. The judge, oh, holler. Okay. Oh, Jesus, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Glory to Dios. Yeah, Spanish. Mas, mas Espanol. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> Porque un poco de español. No más. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Gloria a Dios. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. Hallelujah. Side, they're usually around there. There's an enterprise on it. It's probably on this side over here. They'll say enterprise on it. There's, they're, they're picking them around that corner over there. I see them over there. They will, but in the front, they're, they're, they're in that area over there. It's probably down about uh, a couple hundred yards. See, follow that bus. Follow that bus right there. It's about God. Out of God, you're in great danger. The wrath of God abides upon you. The wrath of God abides upon you. Reckon out of God in Jesus' mighty name. Flee from the wrath to come, for you die in your sins, for you burn in the lake of fire. Repent and believe the gospel. The kingdom of God is at hand. The wages of sin is death. Soul that sin shall die. The Lord Jesus came to give life. That more abundantly in him is life. That life is the light of men. The just shall live by faith. God commands you to repent and believe the gospel. 
Oh, hallelujah. Faith is a gift of God, 
Grace is a gift of God. Grace is undeserved favor. Grace is receiving from God what you don't deserve. The truth is all of us deserve judgment and damnation. Yet through Christ, the sinner can be reconciled to God through the death of God's Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. The innocent man was crucified on the cross, and the guilty was free, washed in the blood of the Savior, washed in the blood of the innocent Lamb of God, who sheds his blood to take away the sin of the world. The new Adam, when Adam sinned against God, he did not meet God's perfect standard of righteousness. But Jesus lived a perfect life of no sin. Jesus Christ met God's standard of righteousness. All of those born after Adam are going to die in the sin of Adam. But if you're born again, if you're saved in the Lord Jesus Christ, then you will die in the sin of Adam in the eyes of God. Because just as you were made a sinner through one man, Adam, so you are made a sinner through one man, Jesus Christ. And this is the case of God. God.